the largest active volcano on the Earth. Well, ominous glowing has been observed along the horizon. But there is a significant likelihood of a volcanic eruption that could occur at any moment. The, the ground trembled beneath vast stretches of the North American continent as the United States Geological Survey, USGS, raised a red alert unlike any issued in decades. 21 volcanoes from Alaska to the Caribbean roared to life almost simultaneously, sending shockwaves through the scientific community and captivating the world's attention. The eruption event marks one of the most dramatic episodes in modern geological history, a vivid reminder that beneath the calm surface of the continent, Earth's forces remain volatile, unpredictable, and unimaginably powerful. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Among the most prominent volcanoes currently active is Mount St. Helens in Washington, whose memory still lingers from its cataclysmic 1980 eruption. Once again, plumes of ash have begun to rise from its crater, the surrounding landscape illuminated by glowing lava flows. Seismic instruments registered a series of deep tremors weeks before the eruption, yet the sudden surge of volcanic activity exceeded even the most advanced prediction models. The volcano's reawakening signals a broader tectonic agitation along the Cascade Range, a region that hosts several other restless giants. Not far away, Mount Rainier has joined the chorus, its icy summit fractured by expanding fissures releasing steam and gas. Scientists have long regarded Rainier as one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the United States, not merely for its explosive potential, but because of the immense glaciers blanketing its slopes. As the mountain's internal pressure builds, the threat of lahar, mud flows of melted ice and debris becomes imminent, capable of reaching communities miles downstream. The mountain's subtle rumblings have transformed into a symphony of explosions echoing across the Puget Sound, an eerie display of nature's unrestrained might. Further south, Mount Hood in Oregon has erupted in brilliant but terrifying fashion. Fiery fountains of molten rock shoot skyward, and rivers of lava carve their way through pine forests. The volcano, a familiar sight for those in Portland, had shown only modest geothermal activity for decades, but its sudden explosion now dominates the skyline. The plume from Hood merges with emissions from nearby Mount Jefferson, creating a canopy of ash that stretches across state lines. Both volcanoes, part of the same volcanic arc, appear to have been triggered by deep shifts in magma movement, hinting at a larger interconnected geological awakening beneath the Pacific Northwest. In California, Mount Shasta has unleashed a formidable eruption that paints the sky in hues of red and gold. Shasta's cone, long considered dormant, now glows with rivers of incandescent magma. Ash has begun to fall across Northern California, and the roar from its crater can be heard for miles. Nearby Lassen Peak, the only other historically active volcano in the state has followed suit. Together, Shasta and Lassen mark a powerful reminder that the Pacific Ring of Fire does not sleep. Each eruption feeds into the next, as subterranean pressures cascade through the tectonic boundaries that define this restless land. Turning north, the Alaskan wilderness has become a fiery frontier. Pavlov Volcano, one of the state's most active, has erupted again launching towering columns of ash that have disrupted air travel over the region. Not far away, Mount Redoubt's cone glows through the Arctic twilight, spewing ash and gas across the Cook Inlet. Augustan Volcano has also joined in, sending bursts of lava and steam skyward. The Aleutian Range, which arcs across the northern Pacific, is now a landscape of fire and ice. Its chain of volcanoes, Cleveland, Akmok, and Shishaldan, lighting up the horizon. The simultaneous activity of these Alaskan volcanoes suggests deep mantle disturbances along the subduction zone where the Pacific Plate dives beneath the North American Plate. In the continental heartland, the unexpected awakening of the Yellowstone caldera has drawn global attention. Though not producing the catastrophic super eruption that scientists have long feared, Yellowstone's current activity is formidable. Massive steam explosions and localized lava flows mark the reactivation of its immense magma chamber. The ground has risen measurably across large sections of the park, creating new geothermal vents and geysers erupting at unprecedented frequencies. The landscape once known for its serenity now pulses with life, as if the earth itself were breathing beneath the surface. Farther east, the Long Valley Caldera in California has also shown signs of renewed eruption. 
Once overshadowed by Yellowstone's fame, Long Valley's vast magma system has always held destructive potential. Now, glowing fissures split the ground near Mammoth Lakes, and fountains of lava leap into the night. The simultaneous awakening of both Yellowstone and Long Valley, two of North America's most potent volcanic systems, signals a continental-scale geological event, one that scientists are struggling to fully comprehend. Across the Pacific Northwest and into the Canadian borderlands, Mount Baker and Glacier Peak have erupted, their combined activity sending ash plumes deep into the atmosphere. Communities in British Columbia and Washington have reported continuous tremors, their windows rattling with each new explosion. Mount Baker's snow-capped cone now glows from within, its pure white slopes streaked with fiery red rivers of magma. Glacier Peak, quieter but no less dangerous, releases enormous plumes of sulfur dioxide that have begun to alter air quality across the region. Further along the Aleutian chain, Mount Katmai and Mount Spur have erupted in near synchronization. Katmai's eruption recalls the legendary 1912 event that created the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, one of the largest eruptions of the 20th century. This new eruption, though smaller, remains immense by modern standards. The entire peninsula has become a mosaic of fire, ash, and steam, each peak feeding a network of volcanic plumes that encircle the Arctic horizon. Spur's eruption to the north intensifies the spectacle, with lightning storms crackling through its ash cloud, a phenomenon known as volcanic lightning, born from the friction of charged particles within the plume. In Central America's northern reaches, where the North American and Caribbean plates converge, activity has surged as well. Mexico's Popocatapetl, known locally as El Popo, has erupted with furious force, its plume visible from Mexico City. The volcano's name, meaning Smoking Mountain, has never been more fitting. Tremors rock the surrounding valleys, and rivers of lava wind down its slopes, illuminating the night sky with an orange glow. Not far away, Colima Volcano, sometimes called the Fire Volcano, has joined the upheaval. Colima's eruption adds to the escalating chain reaction, as magma chambers connected deep beneath the crust release their pent-up energy. In Alaska's westernmost islands, Mount Veniaminoff and Mount Semisopoknoi have ignited in tandem. The twin eruptions create twin plumes that stretch hundreds of miles into the stratosphere. Seismic waves ripple across the North Pacific, recorded by instruments thousands of miles away. These volcanoes, often isolated and seldom observed, now dominate satellite imagery as glowing beacons of Earth's fury. To the north, Wrangell Volcano, long regarded as dormant, has also erupted after centuries of slumber. Its massive shield structure sends lava flows coursing across frozen tundra, carving new paths through the wilderness. The reawakening of Wrangell, along with so many others, suggests that the entire Pacific margin is under strain. Each eruption feeds energy into the next, amplifying the system's instability. In the Caribbean, the island of Montserrat Soufriere Hills volcano has reignited with a ferocity not seen since its devastating eruption in the 1990s. Pyroclastic flows cascade down its slopes, consuming vegetation and reshaping the island's landscape. Its ash cloud, driven by high-altitude winds, drifts toward the Atlantic, joining the atmospheric haze now stretching across the continent. The eruption is symbolic of a broader awakening. A reminder that the tectonic energy driving these volcanoes knows no borders. The pattern of eruptions has stunned experts not merely for its scale but for its timing. Each volcano seems to respond to another, as if linked by invisible threads beneath the Earth's crust. The subduction zones along the Pacific, the rift systems in the interior, and the mantle plumes beneath the continent appear to be resonating in unison. Scientists refer to this as tectonic coupling a process in which stress released in one region triggers seismic or volcanic activity in others. The simultaneous eruption of 21 volcanoes may represent the most dramatic example of this phenomenon ever recorded. The implications are vast and complex. From a geological standpoint, such widespread volcanic activity reshapes the Earth's crust on a continental scale. New landforms are being created even as old ones are consumed. Rivers are rerouted by lava flows, forests are transformed into barren plains, and mountain peaks grow higher as magma accumulates beneath them. These changes, though destructive in human terms, are part of the natural cycle of planetary renewal. 
a process that has shaped continents since time immemorial. From an atmospheric perspective, the release of volcanic gases is already altering global conditions. Each eruption sends sulfur dioxide, ash, and water vapor into the stratosphere, forming reflective aerosols that can cool the planet's surface. If sustained, this event could lead to a temporary global temperature drop, reminiscent of the cooling seen after Mount Pinatubo's eruption in 1991. Yet the cooling effect may come at the cost of disrupted weather patterns, with unpredictable consequences for agriculture and ecosystems across the hemisphere. Economically, the impact of 21 simultaneous eruptions is almost incalculable. Air travel across North America has been paralyzed as ash clouds render skies unsafe for aviation. Major cities lie beneath veils of ash, their skylines dimmed and streets coated in gray dust. Infrastructure faces immense strain as power grids, communication networks, and water systems contend with the encroachment of volcanic material. For communities near active sites, evacuation has become a logistical nightmare as routes are blocked by molten rivers and collapsing roads. Ecologically, the eruptions herald both destruction and renewal. Forests burned by lava will one day give rise to new ecosystems enriched by volcanic soil. Rivers choked by ash will carve new channels through the transformed terrain. Wildlife will flee, adapt, or perish, but life will return, as it always does, thriving in the mineral-rich aftermath of the Earth's convulsions. Each eruption, catastrophic though it may seem, plants the seeds of future vitality. The psychological effect on humanity, however, may prove equally profound. To witness 21 volcanoes erupting at once is to confront the raw power of the planet in its most primal form. For generations accustomed to stability and predictability, the sight of fiery mountains tearing the sky apart evokes an ancient fear, a recognition that civilization rests upon a thin crust above unimaginable forces. In this moment, humanity is reminded of its fragility, its place in a world shaped by elements far beyond control. Across the continent, scientists labor around the clock to interpret the data pouring in from satellites, seismographs, and drones. The USGS Red Alert, the highest level of warning, reflects both the danger and the uncertainty of the situation. Researchers are examining whether these eruptions are driven by a single geodynamic trigger or by coincidental convergence of local pressures. Some point to a potential shift in the mantle plume beneath North America, while others suspect an interaction between solar activity and the planet's magnetic field that might have subtly influenced magma movement. The truth may lie in a complex interplay of factors still unfolding beneath our feet. Communities near the volcanoes find themselves living through what seems like a geologic renaissance of fire. In Washington and Oregon, night skies glow orange as ash falls like snow. In Alaska, villages once buried in silence now tremble beneath the sound of distant explosions. In the central United States, Yellowstone's eruption has turned the region into a landscape of smoke and steam, its geysers roaring louder than ever. In Mexico, the air vibrates with the low thunder of Popocatapetl, while the Caribbean islands witness their own fiery spectacles. These eruptions, though individually distinct, seem woven into a single narrative of planetary transformation. The Pacific Plate continues its relentless descent beneath the continent, fueling magma production along the subduction zone. Pressure builds, releases, and redistributes in an endless cycle of creation and destruction. What humanity witnesses now is merely one chapter in that ongoing story, a moment when Earth's inner energy surges to the surface in a display of breathtaking intensity. The interconnectedness of the eruptions also highlights the delicate balance of Earth's geological systems. The magma chambers beneath these volcanoes are not isolated reservoirs but part of a vast, dynamic network stretching thousands of miles. A shift in pressure beneath one volcano can reverberate through this network, influencing distant systems in ways not yet fully understood. It is as though the planet's crust functions like a living organism, its movements synchronized across unimaginable distances. While the eruptions have not yet led to a cataclysmic chain reaction, the potential for escalation remains. If more volcanoes join the ongoing activity, the atmospheric effects could become global, reducing sunlight and altering weather patterns for years. Scientists are watching closely for signs of involvement from other major systems, such as Mount Edgecumba in Alaska or Newberry Volcano in Oregon. Any new eruption could tip the balance, transforming a continental event into a planetary phenomenon. 
For now, the red alert stands as a symbol of both warning and wonder. Humanity's instruments record the data, but the sight of 21 volcanoes ablaze is beyond numbers. It is a spectacle that transcends science, a reminder that the same forces that built the continent still shape them. The mountains rise and fall, the skies darken and clear, and through it all, the planet endures. From the frozen north to the tropical south, the landscape of North America has been rewritten in fire. Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, Mount Hood, Mount Shasta, Lassen Peak, Mount Baker, Glacier Peak, Mount Redoubt, Mount Spur, Augustine, Pavlov, Katmai, Cleveland, Okmok, Shishaldin, Wrangell, Veniaminoff, Semisopaknoi, Yellowstone, Long Valley, and Popocatapetl. Each has played its part in this grand awakening. Together, they form a constellation of fire across the continent, a living testament to Earth's boundless energy. The magnitude of this event will be studied for generations. Future geologists will read the layers of ash and lava left behind, reconstructing the sequence of eruptions and the forces that drove them. They will trace the spread of aerosols through the atmosphere, the cooling patterns that followed, and the ways in which ecosystems adapted. But for those who witness it now, the spectacle defies simple description. It is both terrifying and magnificent, a revelation of the planet's ancient heart still beating beneath our feet. The USGS Red Alert may fade with time, and the volcanoes may one day fall silent again. Yet their message will linger. The Earth is alive, restless, and ever-changing. Beneath the calm of cities and the quiet of forests lies a world in motion a realm of magma and pressure ceaselessly shaping the surface we call home. The eruption of 21 volcanoes across North America marks not merely an episode of destruction, but a reaffirmation of the planet's power, a reminder that creation and chaos are inseparable, that fire and stone remain the architects of our world. As the skies glow red and the ground quivers, humanity stands as witness to an ancient truth reborn in the modern age. The continent breathes fire once more, and its pulse echoes through mountains, rivers, and plains. It is only the beginning of a new cycle in Earth's timeless dance, a surge of energy that will carve its legacy into the bones of the continent and the memories of all who behold it. Each of the 21 volcanoes now erupting across North America tells its own story within this extraordinary chain of fire. Mount St. Helens, reborn from the ashes of its 1980 catastrophe, has once again proven its volatility, reminding the world how swiftly a silent mountain can become a force of devastation. Mount Rainier looms beside it, a sleeping giant no longer at rest, its immense glaciers melting as deep magma veins push upward, generating plumes that merge with those from neighboring peaks. Mount Hood, a sentinel over Oregon, glows with molten rivers cascading down its flanks, its eruptions visible even from Portland's horizon. Mount Shasta, one of California's sacred volcanic giants, releases both ash and awe, while Lassen Peak, the southern anchor of the Cascade Range, has joined the upheaval, its slopes rumbling with low, thunderous growls. Northward, Mount Baker and Glacier Peak pour their energy skyward, twin columns of ash uniting over Washington's wilderness. Each eruption echoes through the Cascade Arc, revealing the restless spirit beneath the Pacific Northwest. In Alaska, the land of fire and ice, the spectacle multiplies. Mount Redoubt, Augustine, Pavlov, and Spur ignite the horizon, joined by the Aleutian Sentinels, Katmai, Cleveland, Okmok, Shishaldin, Veniaminoff, Semisopaknoi, and Wrangell. These 13 Alaskan volcanoes form a chain of incandescent fury, where snow fields melt into torrents and lightning crackles through volcanic plumes. Their simultaneous eruptions signal deep tectonic unrest along the subduction zone, where the Pacific Plate continues its eternal descent beneath the continent. Farther south, Yellowstone breathes steam and light across its caldera, while the Long Valley caldera fractures open once more in California's high desert. Completing the 21 stands Popocatapetl, Mexico's smoking mountain, a fiery beacon rising above ancient cities. Together, these volcanoes form a living constellation of flame, each peak a testament to the raw, enduring power of Earth's molten heart. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on what might happen next after this? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.